of Toastmasters, and no guests, especially Betty. Betty, the title of your speech, just to reiterate that, was Coping with Your Brain. I thought that was an interesting title. I didn't know exactly what to expect, so that was fun. This was sort of a random speech. It wasn't uh, oriented towards any project. It didn't have any specific goals to it. So just to reiterate the content a little bit, you started off with this question about memory loss and got the audience involved. Then you let on that this was actually a problem that you have, but you gave us a solution. So you gave us a lot of things that you do to uh, aid your own memory. A couple of things about your presentation. You had a great greeting. It wasn't at all down, down scale at all. It came out and said, good morning, everyone. So that's a great way to get started. I thought you had great vocal variety. In a lot of places, you were very animated. You spoke a little bit louder, and then at times you spoke more softly. I think I remember when you were talking about mindfulness. You did some play acting when you were talking to yourself back and forth, so that was great. And then the most important, to address Kermit's criticism from last time, you didn't use any notes. So I guess you listened to the evaluator. That's, that's, that's <laughs> nice. Lots of positives. Really, everything that I've said so far would be sort of a positive. The, the great um, greeting, the engaging with the audience, one of the things you're supposed to do for a good speech is get the audience involved right away, animated presentation. And I thought that your the content was well focused. It all stayed on topic. Some people would kind of move around from thing to thing, but you did not do that, so that was that was very good. Areas for improvement. Boy, this is this is tough. I didn't I didn't really have anything written down as an area for improvement. I said, oh, well, I'll get some from the notes that people <laughs> hand me. But really, hardly anyone, there's only, I think, one, uh, one uh, suggestion for improvement. And I decided not even to include it because I, I didn't really like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> one, one possibility is that you could crystallize your, your content into three points. They, they, they say you should have like three points. You really had sort of one point, you were on, on topic all the time, but maybe crystallize it into some points that you could reiterate at the end. Uh, and another thing would be to just make this into a project speech. It's very good. You can, I'm sure there must be some category that you could get it into, so you could make it a little bit more formal. In conclusion, I would say that as a very important topic, really well presented, a lot of good information, engaging the audience, lots of good techniques in presenting it, and so well done, Betty.